Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to turn yourself or person that you want into a cartoon and this is part one out of the series. So if you're interested in seeing how I do my cartoons, stay tuned. So the first thing that you're going to want to do in Procreate is insert a picture. And like I said before, this is how you turn a picture into a cartoon. And this was kind of a controversial topic on my TikTok. So I'm just going to leave it at this. This is the cartoonization of a picture, which means that for this particular technique, you draw over what part of the picture that you want to keep and then add in whatever else you want to at the end. So as you guys will see, I will be drawing over the lines that I want to keep from the picture. And then as we go on the series, if I want to tweak anything or if I want to add something else, I'll add it. And that's just my artistic touch to the picture. Now another thing that I do for the brush that I'm using to actually do the line art, I turn the stabilization up or streamline up to like maybe around a 90 or 100 depending on your preference. And for these particular cartoons, I like using the technical pen the best. You just have to play around with the sizing and the pressure of your pen or the pressure of your finger so that way you can better control the thickness and the thinness of the lines because although it may not seem like a lot the line art really does give a foundation to the cartoon that you're going to do for this technique so if you want the cartoon to come out nice and clean the line art has to also be clean so when you're drawing the line art don't be afraid to undo if you don't like the line or erase certain parts and draw back over it this process for this part you want to take your time and make sure that you get it right because like i said before it is the foundation and you don't want to be three hours into it coloring it in and then you realize you hate the line art and you have to go back through it go under all the layers and rearrange stuff it's just not time efficient so if you see that you don't like the stage that the line art is in right now just take your time, undo things that you don't like, and then just retry it. This part of the process of the cartoon, I feel, takes a lot more patience than other parts because this is what's going to give you the groundwork for what you do from there. So if something looks a little bit off for the line art, it's going to bug you the whole entire time you do the cartoon unless you can fix it with shading or highlighting or whatever. So. I would really suggest for you guys to just take your time during this part, listen to some nice music or watch a show that's 
fun to be entertained and not distracted and just really get into the line art and if you find that you're still not where you want to be just do some practice pictures or try doing the same picture over and over again and eventually you're going to get to that place you want to be it's all about practice and repetition doing the line art there may be some things you don't have to draw with procreate because like say for instance if the face is centered and you drew one eye you could copy paste it and flip it and just move it on to the other side and that saves you some time but that won't always work in some instances so I tried to do it for my eyes and that didn't look right to me but once I did my eyebrows and I flipped it, it fit a lot better. So for things like that, you just have to go with your gut feeling and what you think looks best because at the end of the day, it is your piece and it's something that you want to be proud of. So use your best judgment. And if it doesn't come out right, just try again and do it until something fits.
have you guys' attention, I would like to bring up something that's been asked for me a lot on my social media. A lot of people have been asking for me to turn them into cartoons. So I've decided that once I get to a thousand followers, I will pick five random people and I will draw them. So if you like this process and you like how I'm doing this and you want me to draw you, be sure that you like and subscribe and share my channel with friends because once we reach that milestone, I will be doing five free commissions along with an art giveaway. So as we get closer to that goal, I'll be posting more videos specifically about it. But if that's something that you're interested in, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, comment, show your friends these videos, support my TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, all of those things because it all helps me to grow and it all helps me to see that you guys are really are interested in seeing the process behind my art.
If you guys like what you've seen today in this part one, please be sure to not only like this video, but to drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about this video. Because the more love that this video gets, the sooner I'll post the part two. So if you guys like what you've seen today, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for your support, and I look forward to seeing you guys again very soon. Bye!